This is one that I've been holding in. This is one that I have been very excited for. I've teased it. I've hinted at it. I've mentioned it on other live streams that I've done. I've mentioned it in videos. I did give a small update for it um, a few weeks ago, but I'm officially announcing my fantasy romance novella, Blessed Child. And this novel I am so excited about. Now, this is a, it's uh, the reason I'm calling it oh, no, a novella is because it's not, it's below what people consider the threshold for being a full novel. So it is a story that I'm very excited about. It's true, all of it. This, I plan on releasing it in July of this year. And if you're curious what it's about, I'll give you a small inkling because I'm very, very stoked about it. In a fictional world in the kingdom of Pyron, which is the home of the elves, their princess has just buried her human husband. She is the heir to the throne of the elves. She will become queen once her father passes away, the, the king of the elves. However, she learns that she is pregnant with her human husband's child. Now, this is not usually an issue because if you read mythology, you find out that when an elf and a human uh, marry, that usually they can choose, depending on the lore, it's usually, between, it's usually around puberty, if they want to be an immortal elf or if they want to be a human. But it, this always happens at that time when they are older. However... This is interesting because when Carinci goes to see the royal physician, who might have sinister motives, she soon discovers that her child is already a human. And this rocks the elvish kingdom. People are angry. They're chanting, no human king, even though she is having a girl, by the way. She's having a daughter. And as a result of this, it causes turmoil in the kingdom and her cousin who would be next in line to the throne if she was to uh, die in childbirth or if the child was to pass away, he would be next in line. He starts to work with the royal physician to create a little conspiracy. The king somewhat becomes aware of this and decides to go and get her a bodyguard. And he chooses a, a disgraced knight named Sir Matthew who is on the path of redemption. And Matthew is, it decides to take on this because he wants to be redeemed after what happened, which I'm not going to tell you. You have to read the book. But needless to say, he is a widower like the princess is a widow. And as he prepares to go to this um, elvish kingdom, the king reminds him of something important. And that is that men who are warriors, they need to have the strength enough to be gentle. They need to be strong enough to be gentle. So that is the elevator pitch for Blessed Child. I'm going to self-publish this one. I went back and forth whether I was going to crowdfund it. Ultimately, I decided not to crowdfund it. I've decided that I am going to... Um, uh, I've decided that I am going to self-publish this completely through Amazon Kindle Direct. The book is in its final editing stages. I've already gotten it completely edited. I'm just going over for some final touches. I've already got the cover for the book designed by my sister, who is an amazing artist. So we will be showing that in the coming weeks. So keep your eye out for it. And let me just tell you, this is one of my novels that I have been so excited for. I've been planning this for some time. I'm very excited for it. I really feel like this one ups the game. Now, just so you know, it is not connected to any of my previous works. It's a standalone novel. So don't go in there expecting it to be the, the sequel to uh to the seven royals that is coming don't worry i'm working hard on it i won't charge rr martin you i will finish this trilogy <laughs> but in the meantime 
Blessed Child, a fantasy romance novella, will be coming, hopefully, to your bookshelves in July. I'm very excited for this. I think everyone is going to enjoy it. Because I've been living life right like I could just die.